In this lesson, you will learn about rounding decimals. Okay, so rounding decimals. If we have a decimal such as 0 and 36 hundredths, and we want to round it to the nearest tenth. So we can underline the number in the tenths place, and this 6 is going to tell that 3 what to do, whether it's going to stay a 3 or move up to a 4 tenths. So it's either 0 and 3 tenths or 0 and 4 tenths. Okay. The rule is if this number is 5 or greater, it makes this number move up 1. If it is 0 to 4, it, this number stays the same. So since this 6 is 5 or greater, it's telling this number to move up 1 tenth. Because this is actually closer to 4 tenths than it is to 3 tenths. So our answer is 0 and 4 tenths. So 36 hundredths rounds to 4 tenths. Let's try another one. So how about 4 and 521 hundredths? Sorry, 521 thousandths, but we are going to round to the hundredths place. Okay, So the 2 is in the hundredths place. This 1 tells this 2 what to do. Is it going to stay the same or go up to 3 hundredths? Okay. So using the rule, this is between 0 and 4, so this number is actually going to stay the same. So this will be 4 and 52 hundredths. This is closer to 52 hundredths than it is 53 hundredths. How about one more? About 36 and 900, no, 9,995 ten thousandths. We are going to round to the thousandths place. Okay, so then this nine is in the thousandths place. This five is going to tell that nine what to do. This is a tricky one. So this is either closer to 36 and 999 thousandths or 37 holes. Okay, so in this case this tells this up to this five tells this nine to go up one to 10, which makes this go up to a 10, which makes this go up to a 10, which makes that go up to a 7. So this actually rounds to 37 and 0 thousandths. Those are tricky with the nines. And that's the end of our lesson on rounding decimals.